Welcome students. Today we will solve fourth problem on kinetics of particles based on Newton's second law. So let us start today's lecture. So let us read the statement first. Two blocks of mass 60 kg and 15 kg are connected by the string and move along a rough horizontal surface. When a force of 300 Newton is applied towards the right, at the block of 60 kg mass. Apply D Alambert's principle to determine the acceleration of the blocks and tension in the string. Assume that the coefficient of friction between the sliding surface of the blocks and the plane is 0.25. So we are given this situation and we are given two blocks. One is of 15 kg marked as block A second is of 60 kg marked as block B. These two are connected by the string and move along rough horizontal surface and a pull of 300 Newton is applied at block B towards right. And we have to find the acceleration of both the blocks and tension in the string. And we are given coefficient of friction between the blocks and the surface as 0.25. So in order to solve this problem, first of all, we have to see how many bodies are there which are in motion in this situation. So in this problem, two blocks are given which are in motion. So we have to draw their individual free bodies. So let us first start with the free body of block A. So in order to draw the free body of block A, first of all, we have to represent its weight. And we know weight always acts in downward direction. Its mass is given to us as 15 kg. So we will multiply that mass by 9.81 and we'll get its weight as 147.15 newtons. And this we have to show in downward direction. And we know after this, we have to show the normal pressure acting on the block provided by the surface. And let us label that pressure as Na, that is normal pressure acting at block A. So let us see what are the other forces acting in the free body of block A. Over here it is shown that a string is connected to block A, which is pulled by block B towards right. It means we have to show tension in this free body acting in that string towards right. So let us show that tension as D. And we know in this particular situation, we are also given a rough surface. That means we have to consider friction force. As the motion of the block A is towards right, so friction force we have to consider towards left. And let us consider it as Fa, that is friction force acting at block A. Now this system of forces is acting on block A and we know the motion of the block is towards right. It means this system of forces will be equivalent to the acceleration of the block towards right. So we can say summation F is equal to MAAA where MA is the mass of block A and AA represents its acceleration towards right. So from this situation, we can conclude that motion of block A is towards right. It means whatever forces are acting in horizontal direction, if we will add those forces, then we have to equate those forces equal to MAAA because this block A moves towards right. And there is no motion of this block in Y direction. Then we can say summation Fy equal to zero. That means Whatever forces are acting in y direction, if we will add those forces, then their sum must be equal to 0. So let us apply summation Fy equal to 0. So let us see how many forces are acting in y direction. There are two forces. One is the normal pressure acting at block A. Second is the weight of the block. We will consider force acting in upward direction positive and force acting in downward direction negative. It means our equation will be Na minus 147.15 equal to 0, where 147.15 is the weight of the block A. Now from here we will get 
the value of normal pressure acting at block A as 147.15. Now let us use the second equation. That will be summation fx is equal to ma. So let us see how many forces are acting in this free body in x direction. There are two forces. One is the tension in the string acting towards right. So we will consider this as positive. Second is the frictional force acting between block and the horizontal surface. So it is acting towards left. We will consider this as negative. So equation will be T minus FA is equal to MAAA. Now let us replace friction by mu n a because we know frictional force is equal to the product of coefficient of friction and normal pressure. We know the value of normal pressure. We know the value of coefficient of friction as well which is given to us as 0.25. We know the value of mass of block a as well which is given to us as 15 kg. So let us put these values in this equation. So we'll get T minus 0 0.25 into 147.15 equal to 15 AA. This will further reduce to T minus 36.78 equal to 15 AA. Now in this equation, we have two unknowns. One is the tension in the string. Second is acceleration of block A, which we have to find. So we cannot solve this equation. So let us call this equation as equation number one for time being. Now we'll move on to the free body of block B. So let us draw the free body of block B. So in order to draw the free body of block B, first of all, we have to represent that block. And we know it is resting on horizontal surface. That means the first force which we have to represent in its free body will be its weight. So weight will act in downward direction. And we are given its mass as 60 kg. So let us multiply that with 9.81 to get its weight, which will be equal to 588.6 newtons. So the first force in the free body will be its weight acting in downward direction. Against that weight, we will consider its normal pressure. Let us label that as Mb. Now apart from these two forces, we have to represent the external force which is of 300 newton acting at block B towards right. So let us represent that force now. So we have shown that force towards right. Now apart from these three forces, we have to show the tension also in this string. Now this block moves towards right and it is connected to block A through this string. When this block will move towards right, it will try to pull block A. But block A will resist that motion. Because of that, tension will develop in this string towards left. So let us show that tension over here and let us label that tension as T. After this, we have to see the motion of the block B. Now block B is moving towards right and it is moving on horizontal surface, which is a rough surface. That means we have to consider frictional force also. As block is moving towards right, so we have to consider friction force towards left. So let us call that as FB. Now this is the system of forces acting on block B and uh, it is equivalent to the acceleration of block B towards right. So we have shown the acceleration vector at the mass center of block B towards right. Now we know this block is moving towards right. It means if we will add all the horizontal forces acting on this block, then that sum must be equal to MBAB. And there is no motion of this block in Y direction. It means if we will add all the forces acting in y direction, their sum has to be zero. So let us use these two equations to find the unknowns. So let us start with summation Fy equal to zero first. And let us see how many forces are acting on this block in y direction. So there are two forces. One is the normal pressure, which is acting in our direction. We have to consider that as positive. Second is the weight of the block, which is acting in downward direction. So we have to consider that negative. And equation will be equal to NB minus 588.6 equal to zero, where 588.6 represents the weight of the block B. So from here, we'll get the value of normal pressure 
acting at block B as 588.6 newtons. Now let us use the second equation, which is summation fx is equal to ma. Now in the free body of block B, there are three forces acting in horizontal direction. One is external force 300 newton acting towards right, so we will consider this as positive. Second is the tension in the string acting towards left, we have to consider that as negative. Then frictional force FB acting towards left, so we have to consider this also negative. It means our equation will reduce to 300 minus T minus FB is equal to MBAB. Now we will replace frictional force with mu N. And we know the value of mu as 0.25, value of NB as 588.6. We know the mass of block B as well, which is 60 kg. So equation will reduce to 300 minus T minus 0.25 into 588.6 is equal to 60 AB. This will further reduce to T equal to 152.85 minus 60 AB. From the free body of block A, we have got this equation in which we have T, tension in the string and acceleration of block A. And this equation gives us the value of tension. So we'll put this value in that equation 1. So this equation will reduce to 152.85 minus 60 AB minus 36.78 equal to 15 AA. Now in this equation still we have two unknowns. One is AB, second is AA. So we cannot solve this equation. So it means we have to find the relation between these two between the acceleration of block A and acceleration of block B. Now let us find the relation between these two. If we will see this situation carefully, then we will find that acceleration of both the blocks will be same because these two blocks are connected by the string and both are pulled towards right. So their acceleration will be same. It means we can say acceleration of block A is equal to acceleration of block B. So we will replace acceleration of block B in this equation by acceleration of block A. So this equation now will be in terms of only one unknown that is acceleration of block A. So we can solve this equation easily to get the acceleration of block A as 1.547 meter per second square. And we know acceleration of block B is equal to acceleration of block A. So this is answer for A, A, B as well. So we have found acceleration of both the blocks. Now we have to find tension in the string. So for that we will say put this value of AA in equation 1. We will get value of tension in the string as 60 newtons. So we have found the acceleration of both the blocks and tension in the string. I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.